What's up guys, Cody here with an alternate guide to getting a few achievements in Borderlands, all of which are on the Claptrap Revolution DLC. You can do this in either single player, split screen, or on Xbox Live, but for the purpose of this video I will be doing it on single player. Now this is on Tartar Station, right after the opening cutscene for the DLC. You could do this by selecting a new character or joining a friends game, which I would advise since when you're such a low level, these enemies can be just truly annoying. And also, I'm using a modded gun, as well as a modded shield. That way I can just kind of bust through these enemies and show you guys without any real hassle. So this is the first mission of the entire DLC. You don't want to turn in this mission because this is kind of the exploit of the entire thing. With this mission, you can get all the rare items you want without all of the crap. You know what I'm talking about, all the gears and the motherboards and all that, you don't want that. You just want the rare collectibles like the pizza, the oil cans, clapfish, bobble traps, 3D frames. Anyways, here we are in the Hyperion dump. All you're gonna do is just charge right past here and you're just gonna do this as much as you need to get all of the collectibles for your achievements. You'll just run right down here, close to where the claptrap component number four is, which you can see I just picked up He's all a psychopaths. Anyways, you'll start up here, and you'll just start running right up here. This is just going to be your game plan for the entire time. You'll have all these clap traps up here, just trying to mess with you the entire time. As well as the Hyperion. What you want to do is just destroy all the clap traps in this area. All of them that spawn, all of them that are already out here. And then afterwards, you're just going to go scavenge around and see if they've dropped any collectibles. Now most of the time they will drop one collectible per session. Oh, see? We know the first one. Claptrap Bubblehead. And that's a pretty rare one, so we might not find a second one. But, let's give it a go anyways. As you can see, I'm just destroying this Claptrap, just flying through with the help of this mod gun, which truly comes in handy a lot. And here we are the big boss man. If you want to you can go ahead and kill him or you can just go ahead and just restart this every time but if you accidentally bump into this barrier where this cutscene starts it'll just get really really stupid. So yeah. You may just want to go back and save after you kill this guy so yeah. Oh, here we go. Second collectible. Pink Panty. So this is a really profitable session. Right I didn't mean to pick up that shield, but oh well. Anyways, once you've done all that, and the place is all cleared out of all the collectibles you can get, all you want to do is just go ahead and exit, and you're just going to keep on restarting it, just like so. Like I said earlier, this is alternate to all the other videos you'll see most of the time. They're mostly just doing the Minac farming, which... It does work, but it takes a lot more time because, I mean, as you can see, this was a whole five minutes of my time. I already have two giant collectibles out of the way. And if I just keep restarting this over and over again, it'll just fly by. Instead of the Minac farming, which you'll be spending a long, long time trying to filter through all the miscellaneous crap, instead of the rare collectibles like you want. Hi, everyone. Hopefully this video will help you knock out your remaining achievements in Borderlands 1, in preparation for number 2. And if you like this video, make sure to stay tuned, because a few friends and I will be doing a Let's Play series on Borderlands 2 as soon as it comes out Tuesday. Thanks for watching.